Hi guys, my name is Fire Fire and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Now don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and if you like this video. And I've got baby glow wells, like who wouldn't like this video? They're so cute. But they swim very weirdly. They're like stiff, aren't they? I wonder if they get bigger than this. Anyways, we are going to do... Oh, what are you doing? Are you swimming out of my aquarium? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, you stay in there. Don't, don't be a rebel. No one likes a rebel. So, what are we going to do this episode? Um, we are going to make a farm. A greenhouse, should I say. So, we're going to make the most epic of greenhouses. And we're going to make an underwater greenhouse. So this is what we've got right now. It's a bit meh, meh. We've got some marble melons, which are really good. We've got some pepper, feathered pepper trees, which is good. And these and this make the spicy salad, which is pretty good meal. These are okay, but they just look beautiful. we also got these outside here. Now all of this stuff is good for materials apart from this purple one and this red one. I don't really need that to be honest. Um, so I'll mostly get rid of that. But I'm going to build all of that. I'm going to fill up this room. Because I have no purpose for this room at the moment. I'm going to make all this a massive greenhouse. And a door going out here hopefully. To an outdoor greenhouse. Well an outdoor underwater greenhouse. What is an underwater greenhouse called anyway? Anyways, so you know what? We're going to just get straight into it. I have been farming yet again and gotten multiple amounts of materials. So we should we should be okay just to plant it all straight away. Got more titanium there. Got some glass here. I don't think I need glass at the moment. I will need glass. Um. First, let's just put our planters down. Let's pin the recipe to our HUD HUD. That way we can see what we're doing. So I don't know how many planters I'm going to put in. I want it to look neat. I don't need to completely fill it up. I want it to look quite neat. I need to make a few of... Um, let's get a latch out there. And I need to make a... a foundation. I need to make a few foundations with some lights. I want to put some lights outside as well so you can always see it. So let's let's do the inside first. Let's get this inside done. We've got quite a bit of titanium on us. So I was thinking to sort of follow this grid but then this is right in front of the door. I don't really like that. So I'm going to try and fit maybe three planters that's exterior we need interior now I wish these snapped because I've got a bit of OCD when it comes to things lining up alright so that looks pretty decent to me then we're gonna put another one, but then is that in is that in line? Here? See it looks a little bit out of line to me. Yeah, it's a bit forward. Okay, let's get this one. Alright. There. So then I'm going to do that here, 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 and maybe one or two here, and then we've got the door out there. So then we're going to have loads and loads of plants and trees all growing in here. We're also going to have a plant shelves and maybe put some plant pots next to the door. What ones would we like? Not the basic ones, that's boring. 
up market pots contain synthetic oil designer pots Ooh, up market or designer because then we can put let's see if we can put them there no we can't put them there is that just because of the shape of that one no okay what about wool plants where can i put that oh can i put that along how does that look there that looks absolutely terrible. So wool plants are more like that. Okay. And let's see these uh this glass this grass wool. See what this looks like. Okay, so it can go in the middle there. You can put one there. And you can't really do anything with it. That's fine. You can't. You don't need to do something with it. So let's bung these around, actually. Get. Okay. But I want to. I do. Oh, I do want to get some windows going as well. Where can windows go? Window can go there. I don't need a window on this side because you're just going to see the base. Actually. We're gonna put windows on this side of the room because this looks onto the outside. Oh, I need glass. And then, um, yeah, so we'll put windows on the outside so you can see outside. And we'll put um, the grass walls on the inner side of it with, with some either wall plants or pots in between the grass, glass walls. I think that could okay, where are you gone? There you are. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Gotta just keep an eye an eye on my pool integrity. And then we're gonna take this one away as well. And put the last window here. Oh, it's looking Looking all right right now. Looking okay. Looking okay. Um, let's get these in here, and there is going to be a latch, and I'm going to need some quartz for that. So one quartz is enough, I think it is. I think it's one quartz. And we will put a latch where the latch is, right here. Right out here. And that leads out to there where there's gonna be an outdoor farm as well. That's not that's not too bad. Can I put this green wall anywhere else? Is that the last places? Okay, yeah, that's it. Cool. So what we're going to do from here is put all these planters down and then I think I'll need to put some decorations around like plant pots or wall planters. So I'm going to quickly um, just put these planters down. Um, it's going to be a little time skip because I'm going to try and get them as straight as possible and it might take a bit of time. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so it's not exactly perfect, but it's as good as I'm going to make it without getting too frustrated. And it leaves a lot of space to run in and out through here. We can go this way and we can run in and out through here. So that's lovely. So before I start, oh look, it looks a bit, a bit out of shape there. Oh, oh well. Before I start uh, doing the rest of the design of the room, I'm gonna start planting because they need time to grow and I wanna 
let it grow before this episode finishes. So most will be at the end when everything's planted. I will um, just leave it to let it grow and then time skip it out or cut it out and show you guys the final product. All right, so where are we gonna put these feather palm trees? So I think, I think putting the trees in the middle would be nice. Oh, uh, should I put them? Or should I put it in a row, different plants in, in a row? How many plants are there? Hmm, not sure. Let's, let's put it in here for now and see what we're working with. So that's one done. Yeah, we'll put it in a row, in this row here. That's them done. Okay, cool. All right, what else? We need the. Uh, I want these plants. I need to go and get the shoehorn plant as well. I can mostly quickly get that from the Dark Island. Quite quickly. I might quickly do that in a sec. Let me just plant these ones. We'll put these here because we're going to put the shoehorn ones there. Uh, I'm going to quickly fill that up if I can. I don't know if I've got enough seeds to fill that up. Uh, I should have a lot of seeds here. Alright, that looks fine. There's loads of seeds in this tree. Wow. I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should have put that tree at the back because it's a bigger tree. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll see how it looks once we get going. All right, so that's that filled up. I'm going to quickly go to Delta Island and get... Oh, I went upstairs back. I'm going to quickly go to Delta Island and get some shoehorn trees. I'll be right... Actually, let me fill these up first. Might as well. I've already got them here. I need a knife, don't I, to get the seeds. So one thing I've got to remember not to do is break it. I think you can still just use the fruit itself, but you get more seeds from a plant than you do fruit. Where's my knife? Hmm. Interesting. I really need to pull it in my tool toolbox Welcome and not just anywhere I want. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna find my knife quickly. I'll be right back. So yeah, I couldn't find my knife for some reason. So I made a new one. Um, yeah, I'll have to check that out. Maybe I left it at my other base um, in the Crystal Caves. Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so let's, yes, get them, get them. There, I've got that's quite a lot of seeds now. Let me do one more and let's get these seeds while I'm here because I want to make a row of these and then no, I don't want to hit them. Okay, and then we need to make these row, which is not too bad, I think. That's all I need, actually. I think that is all I need. Oh, I've got Chinese potatoes as well that I need to make. Hmm. So I'm not going to do rows anymore. I'm definitely going to put all of that. You do get quite a lot. Look at that. You get quite a lot in one farmer thing there. I will put... Because these ones I only use... I think they use for water or something discovered a jellyfish egg nice found some jellyfish eggs in the arctic so brought that home with me started breeding that all right so we need a few 
Ah. Of course that's what you'd do. I need loads of these, because I want to make two partners of these. Right. The only thing that's difficult about this is getting... Can I use the leaf? Because getting a fruit is really difficult. Let's see if we can use the leaf to plant it. I think you can. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can. So... Let's double check. No, you cannot. So I was mistaken. Oh, that just parted it right there for me. Why is this thing so hard to hit? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we need to get some Chinese potatoes and the Preston, Preston plant. So the Chinese potatoes, I know they're in the, in Meg Mar Margie's greenhouse. So we need to go over there. And it's good, because I want to put a beacon over there, because I did it last time. So we're going to have to find it again, which is not going to be too fun. But luckily, you guys won't have to see that. It'll just be me running around like an idiot. And what I'll do, I'll do that last, so I'll let everything so it'll give things a chance to grow while I'm searching for this place. Oh wow, this plant is hard to harvest. And these fruits are pretty good for you. Although they're not the best. How much space have I got actually? Oh, I've still got a bit of space. Yes, got ya. It should be like a crouch button or something because it seems like these are under the leaves and that's what's stopping you from grabbing them. I feel like I'm right on it, but I can't pick it. All right, let's see how many that gives us. But they're growing quite fast. Pretty cool. All right, let's get that in there. That gives us nearly two, well not nearly two, one and a bit. So I've got my marble melons, just need the Chinese potatoes, which I'm going to go and get in a bit. I'm going to quickly go and get the horseshoe and we'll see. And I've got to chop down all of this, all of these stuff because there's no point having them in here anymore. So these can actually go. I don't need the inventory full. Oh wow, they're big, ain't they? Let's see, about 12 food and 14 H2O. That's pretty good. Oh, don't want to plant it. Oh, I can just take it out and plant it straight away. All right, and that can be deconstructed. So we're going to do the outside now, and there's another bit outside that I need to, um, another plant from outside that I need to get. So I need to get the, can I even break this? Yeah, you can. I need to get the creep vine. And I need to see, I think there's another plant that you can harvest, but I don't know if you can plant it. So I want to try and go and check that out as well. And I will check that out as I'm going to Margie's greenhouse. But it's on the way there anyway. So we'll go and check that out and bring one back and see if we can plant that. This one, this next one's going to fill up my inventory. So I'm going to leave that for now and I'll do that in a sec. So let's go to, let's quickly go and do Delta Island. I don't need to bring everything with me, so it'll be much faster if I just go with the sea truck unattached. But uh, it doesn't seem that much faster, to be honest. Let's get the pin for Delta Island. Right. 
should be there in no time at all. Okay, and we're back. All right, let's put these uh, shrub nubs or shrub nuts or what are they called? Shrub nuts in here. And it seems like I don't have enough. <laughs> I only had two, but that's fine. That's fine. We are gonna um, we're gonna we're gonna grow some more. That can wait. We can put this into storage, and we can start pretty much on the outside now. So we need some lead because we want to make some foundations. Uh, where's my lead? Here it is. That should be more than enough. I think I'm hoping I only need about three foundations. Oh, this is right here, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's see how this looks. Let's get some foundation out. So I want to put that there. That can't go there anyway, so that's not too bad. If we put that there. And we can kind of build our thing out here then. Like so. And that stops that plant getting in the way. But yeah, that will stop that plant sort of dipping in everything. And that means I can mostly be get one, two, three, four, five in there. Let's see. Let's put some down. Oh, they're, they're small. Oh, they're really small. Okay. I can get quite a few of them in here then. So if we put it like that. And yeah, we just pretty much put it along there. Wait, how big are the lights? So I, I kind of want lights here. Like so. And that is the wrong way. Cool. So that can be de deconstructed. All right, again. Now, how do I know if it's the right way or not? Okay, so. Yeah, that's something that needs to be um, adjusted a bit. There needs to be some sort of zoom out. There we go. So yeah, if I get them all along here and get some plant beds here, that would that look okay. That would look okay. All right. It's really hard to control when you're outside here. Yeah, I know you're going to eat me. Or not. You do your thing, man. I'm not even worried anymore. Okay, you had your bite. Go away. Uh... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Alright, let's get some oxygen. Okay. Oh, look. They're growing nicely. Everything is growing actually quite nicely. Actually, that pretty much all grown, I think. That grows really fast. Okay. Stop getting distracted. Uh, if I can get some more going around here, that'd be amazing. I need a lot more titanium. And a lot more glass. That looks okay. 
All right, I'm gonna get some more titanium and fill out this place with uh, grow beds. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I have done outside. We've got floodlights here. We're gonna have all types of vegetation here. Should be fun. Let's go and uh, plant some. Then we're going to quickly uh, decorate this room and then go get the plants that we haven't got yet. Which should be fun. Alright. So, knife time. I need to get... I want to get two full planters of these. So, it's going to take a bit of time for these to grow and reseed and grow and reseed. How much space is that? Okay, that's quite a decent amount. And I'm gonna get two, literally two planters of everything. And I think I've got one extra, just in case inventory full. Okay. And I don't need to go all the way around. I don't need to go in and out. I can just come over. It makes it a lot faster. All right, I wanna put the creep vines here, to be honest. So here, We'll pot this one. Wow, I can fit a lot in there, can't I? And here, we'll put these. Oh wow, yeah. I'm gonna have all the resources in the world by the end of this. All right, let's get some more of these. Okay, so. That's all these planted. Um, I've got two full grow beds of these. These are getting planted. Um, once they're grown, I will put more in there. And once these are grown, I'll fill up these. And that is for the creep vine. So let's go and quickly just design the rest of this greenhouse. I'm gonna put some plants around. Oh, we've got loads of plants. I'm gonna put some pots and some walls, planter walls, wall planters. Ah, couldn't speak there. Alright. So, get one of these pots out. And can I put you... Mm, what about this? This maybe would be better. And that, that looks, yeah, that looks pretty decent. And we'll put pots in the, in the middle. Not in the middle, in the corners. So let's get a few of these out. Just give it a bit of character. Got some pots in the middle there. Or in the corner. I don't know why I keep saying middle. Gonna need a bit more titanium. Let's go and grab some titanium. Then we'll put some pots around. And let some stuff grow in the pots. Um, where's my titanium? Oh wow, I've run out of titanium already. Wow, that was two full chests or cupboards or storage of titanium. And big storage, not the small storage. Big storage. Put you there. Yeah, I think I need to plant stuff in there, so. I will plant. I don't know what I'll plant in there actually. I don't know yet. Obviously, I'm going to plant a tree, but what tree? Maybe these trees, because they look actually quite beautiful. So yeah, let's get a few of these. Let's see if I can plant it in there. I can. And they grow quite fast as well. They grow a lot faster than the other ones. And I need one more. Cool. And that's all of this done. So now we got our little uh, greenhouse nearly done. We got out here growing lovely. If we look up here, look at that beauty. That is a beauty. If can we see it all together? 
That is pretty cool. Alright. Time to go and find Margaret's greenhouse. And put a beacon there as well for next time. So I'm going to go look for this. And I will see you guys in a bit. <clears throat> okay, so I went to Margaret's... I always forget her name. I think it's Margaret Greenhouse. And I got some... Oh, nothing out here. But I got these creep vines on the way. So these are going to grow up to about... I think they grow up to about here. I filled out all the uh, farm pots for here. Only a few more missing there. So that's all the materials you need. Batteries, aerogel, synthetics, and um, I think that will give you uh, the lubrication, the lubrication, the lubricant for uh, whatever you need lubricant for. And then in here, we have the Chinese potatoes now, 67% done. All these lovely plants and uh, little decorations here. I don't think, oh, you can still, Harvest these. Oh, that's pretty cool. These ones over here. These ones are growing nicely. And I've planted more. This one's full up. This one's needed uh, one more left in this one. And just need a few more in there. Can I take any more? No. And this. So that's the greenhouse done. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of plants here. Let's see it from outside. Let's take a look from outside. Yeah, so that that I think that's I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Uh, get my sea glider out. You can see it from here. You can see it from this side. Look at that beauty. And all of this. This is what you call the ultimate greenhouse. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I think in the next episode, we are going to do um, the power to this base. We're going to make the power, all the nuclear thermal reactors, and sort out the storage room and make it look pretty and get everything out the front bit there. Yeah, nearly, we're nearly there. We're going to build the ultimate base pretty much. So again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.